welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 281. And yes, my hair is still falling out. It is really, really thin. Um, warning ahead of time, I did order a wig because it's I can't do anything with my hair now. I can't curl it or anything. So there's just nothing much to do with it. So um, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering why is my hair falling out, um, I had weight loss surgery a few months ago and apparently this can be one of the side effects anytime you lose um, um, weight like in a fast or whatever it can they said 75% of the people uh, that either lose weight from a diet or whatever lose their hair. I'm one of those 75% apparently so I did order a wig. I had one of them come in already tried it on and sent it back because I look like a Muppet. It was entirely too much hair and it kept falling forward on my face and yeah so anyway so that will be the big big reveal when it comes in is I'll be wearing a wig. Um, at least till the hair grows back in at this point. So now let's get to what you all came here for. Let's start with the finished objects. I've got a bunch. So let's take a look. These first items I finished before and you have seen them but I added something to them. Now if you remember the summer hats that I made, I put flowers on them and these are actually pins because I thought well these can't go through the wash this can go through the wash so I wanted something that was detachable so I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a sprig of they say these are petunias according to the label they don't look too much like petunias but anyway I then took the flowers apart and hot glued them onto a um, little pin back so you just unpin it and you know you can wear it with the flower in the front the side or the back or not at all so this way it gives you some options so I have this one this is the one that I made for myself which I had attached some little fringy things at the bottom um, so this one's mine could wear that instead of the wig <laughs> anyway um, then we have the one for the baby this one I have not decided if I like it or not because the flower is just a tad bit too big. It doesn't look bad like this, but when you see it from the side, yeah. It reminds me of the little hats the minions well wear, you know, with the little minor thing on the top. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So, not sure about this one, but we'll, we'll go from there. I can always leave it on, and if somebody buys it, they can always take it off if they don't like it. So, I was working on that. Then I made three... These are crocheted and it's actually in the same yarn that I made this shirt out of. This is the Kalaheo. Um, it's a free pattern. No, it was a free pattern when I got it. It's paid for pattern now, I think. Uh, it's just simple. You start at the top, you separate for the sleeves, and then you just go down to however long you want it. I put this little trim on the edge of the neck, the bottom, and the edges of the sleeves just because I thought it made it look a little bit more finished. This is Yarn Bee. It's a cotton nylon blend so it really washes up nice. So I made three of these little drawstring bags and this is just in half double crochet and these are to put soap in and again I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some Yardley soap it smells really good. The bag it came in smells super good. This one is Essential Oil Super Blend with Orange, Lavender, Tea Tree, and Peppermint Essential Oils. Okay, got the focus back now. So anyway, what's going to happen is you just open up the drawstring, take the soap out. You can put the soap in here, and you can either shower with it with the soap inside so it acts like a little scrubby and it lathers up nice, or you can just put the soap in, not get it wet, and tuck it into a drawer and it makes everything inside the drawer smell good. So you can do, use it as a sachet or as a bathing soap mitt type of thing. So I made three of those. Um, I have plenty of this yarn left because I had an entire skein and I think there's almost like 400, three or 400 yards per skein. So I have plenty of it left, but I'm going to see how well these three sell before I make more. Um, I've made actually some dishcloths out of this too, or not dishcloth, yeah, dishcloths. 
and they've held up really well too so far they have had minimal amount of fading so um yeah i've liked it so far so that was my other my one finished object well i guess you count it as three and then i've been super busy let's see if i can get this lifted up here i finished the shawl and i've got a bunch of stuff on top of it here we go it turned out humongous and I knitted, let me get this turned around. I, I've got the wrong side I'm showing you. Okay, here we go. I knitted from color number, the end of color number 10 all the way down this week. So yeah, we have gone all the way down here. Now you'll notice this end looks slightly different than the other end. Now I did weigh my yarns as I went, but somehow or other I got off some. So I was, I was this much short. And I thought, now what am I going to do? I just happened to go upstairs in the yarn room, not down here, but where I keep the, the most of the yarn is upstairs. And I have to find the skein of yarn that I hand dyed years ago. And it had the exact same colors in it. It kind of amazed me. It's got a, definitely a lot more blue, but if you look at the blue here and the blue here, it's the same. The yellow here is the same. Let's see if I can get it to show up. Is the same yellows that are in this, which you can't see real well, but there is a line of yellow right here. And it's the same as this yellow. And there's a little bit of white in it and it just turned out that it's the same color of white you can see it on the back here that is the same as this so even though it doesn't match it looks like it belonged to it so i'm going to stick in some footage of me modeling this so you can see just how big this thing is and i calculated um each skein that i was each mini skein on this half was five grams and on the other half of the shawl was five grams plus you add in the five grams of the black yarn that's going in between it i knitted a hundred grams of yarn in this this week which comes out because this is fingering weight or what would be called a number three um yeah that's roughly 400 yards that i knitted uh just just to finish this week so i'm going to stick in a little clip of me modeling this so you can see how big it really turned out to be so here is the shawl and you can see how far down if i just let it hang on its own it literally hangs down to about my calf but it's great for just putting on and snuggling around me like this um, so yeah i'm enjoying it I will hold it out so you can see. I'll turn around and you can see how far down in the back it stands, it hangs, as well as how long it is. It is, it is wider than my arms. So here we go. So hopefully you could see all of that and how nice and snuggly it is. So thank you once again, Yoka, for changing, exchanging yarn with me. And I had a lot of fun with this. Um, and I'll be using a lot too, because it's not a heavyweight shawl because it's done in fingering weight, but it's very warm because most of it, I think all of it is, all of it is wool. Some of it is merino wool and yeah, so it's lightweight, but warm. Now I completely fit, forgot to do the works in progress. I turned the camera off and went, oops, I forgot to tell you, show you the sweater that I'm working on. So I'm inserting this. So let me show you, I've gotten a lot done this week with the sweater for my daughter-in-law. I have both sleeves attached. Now this sweater starts from the bottom. You go up, you divide right here which would be under the arms for the front and the back. And then you put the sweater aside and you individually knit the sleeves and they have like a little V pattern on them. There you can see it. So you knit about an inch and a half to two inches 
of sleeve on two separate needles and then you reattach them onto the sweater and you pick those stitches back up. So here you can see, let's see if I can turn this around real well, you can see where the sleeve is. This, don't worry, the underarm part here does get sewn shut. Um, but you can see right how big I made those sleeves before I reattached them. So they were an inch and a half to two inches. And then they pick right back up pretty seamlessly into the pattern here with just some decreases. So what I'm doing right now is the decreases that go on the yoke. Now I'm, it turns out I'm going to have plenty of yarn because this is still part of the second skein. I've got almost an entire third skein yet. Um, I used some of it to try to color match the two sleeves. They don't exactly blend here because I should have done the sleeves like with this type of color for this section but I didn't worry about that but I did want to make sure that my sleeves themselves the colors matched so here you can see this side and here you can see this side and this is it's a fairly easy pattern um, you use a US 7 which I am very very glad that I found my missing US 7s because the cables on this one are relatively long but I've got markers here because you're doing the decreases that go up to form like the raglan sleeves which means that that the top of the yoke as it nears the neck is going to get, be getting smaller and smaller I don't want to have to do the magic loop method and stuff but by being able to change over to these needles when they start getting smaller I can put the smaller cords on it and then I can just go around and around and around because I think the smallest cord I have is like a 16 inch for these needles. So yeah, that will work much better. So I'm so glad I found these needles again. So that is the end of my works in progress. Now it's time to see what you all have been working on this week.
Now in the acquisitions, if you missed it, you can click the link right here. I had a Lion Brand haul and I got some vintage books and I also got, let me show you the yarn first. The first yarn is Hometown and I made this a couple of weeks ago and showed it. I just didn't tell you that it was from this yarn haul, but it was. So the hometown that was in the Slattington slate, that is what this is. This is a scarf and I have a hat made out of it. And then there are three skeins of basic stitch anti-pilling yarn, which is gray and white. That's like barber pole, so I really like this. And then there is a huge bundle. Instead, normally it's, it's nine skeins in their mystery box, um, but this time they gave you six skeins and a pound of love. Um, and the pound of love is a huge amount of yarn. It is 1,020 yards or 932 meters. And this color is, I believe it's taupe. It's here somewhere. Yes, it's taupe. So there you can see it. Not sure what I'm going to make. It'll be big, whatever I make out of it. Um, so yes, so that was the other thing in there. So let me show you the books that I got. Now the books that I've got, uh, there was two of them that were, I think I paid under a dollar for. They were like 60 or 80 cents because this was a super good deal. And it was all season accents and it was four knit and four crochet designs created for Lion Brand Nature's Choice, which is not made anymore. It's a discontinued yarn, but I was be able to find it and at least get the information about it because the patterns would say you need three skeins. I was like, well, I need to know how much yarn was in a skein. So it, it, it was a four weight. It was actually a natural cotton or organic cotton, um, but it was a four weight yarn and there was 103 yards Per skein so that I wrote right on the front cover here so if I make any of the patterns and here's some of the patterns on the back if I make any of the patterns and I actually like this little vest right over here um, that way at least I know what kind of yarn to base it on and how much yardage I'm gonna need so there was that and then I like the sweater on the front of this this was a pattern book of knit three knit and three crochet patterns to make with lion brand homespun and i do have a good bit of of homespun and here are the patterns on the back that you can also make now the next two books i actually had someone request uh if i would do a book review on them so that's going to be an a video i'm going to do on a wednesday not this week but possibly next week so the two patterns or two books and they're pretty thick. I mean, this one's, I think, and I, I think I paid two something for this one and maybe two something for this one. It was like a 65% off sale. It was really good. But anyway, this is Lion Brand Yarn Pattern Book from 1916. And so there are lots of vintage patterns in here, as you can see, um, that are very Edwardian in style, even though it was technically out of the Edwardian period at that point but yeah there's little baby sweaters and there's lots of baby sweaters in here but there's also adult things there's quite a few patterns in here um, here you can kind of get the idea of the vintage look that's in this book so these are all patterns that were put out by Lion Brand in 1916 the other book that I have uses some of those same patterns that are in that book plus some others that are a little uh, newer than that and it is vintage styles for today and you can see some of these older pictures here and then they have adapted them to work with today's patterns um, and our styles that we would wear today so they've just done a little modification on these older patterns so i got this one as well so that will be an upcoming video to do a little little book review and show you a little bit more in depth of what some of those patterns look like. So Wednesday's video this week is going to be something 
totally different. Um, I filmed it a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh, my daughter has her college degree is in interior design. And a lady at her church is one of the co-owners of an art studio right around the corner from where I work. And they ask if she would set up their displays for one of their um, gallery themes that they were having. And so the gallery theme was forged, forged, fired, and felted. So it was all, they're all handmade crafts. That, uh, so it might be uh, painting. They had painting, they had woodwork, they had metal, um, metal work, they had jewelry, there was handmade tote bags, there were um, photography, handmade stationery, little felted creatures, like 3D felted creatures. Uh, there was pottery, and some of the pottery had this really pretty, like, pearly looking glaze on it that was, there was some of the vases were very, very pretty. So anyway, my daughter did the setup for forged, fired, and felted. So it was all items focusing on metalwork, felted items, and uh, ceramic items for, fi you know, fired, like when you fire your pottery. So uh, they were very gracious. The company, or the, the store is called Off Track Art, and they were very gracious and allowed me to go in and film. And so I filmed the first part of the video that you will see um, on Wednesday, shows just the one that my daughter set up for them. She set the backgrounds up and things and, and arranged the the uh, creations so that they looked very aesthetically pleasing. So anyway, um, that's the beginning of it. But then they let me go and film into the art gallery itself and take pictures, and I mean not pictures, but take video of the other items uh, that are in there, like the paintings and the quilted items and things like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit different video uh, from what I normally do, but I think you'll like it. And information, they do sell, not online, but you can contact them and they'll make a, they'll make arrangements uh, if you're interested in buying any of the stuff. And their, price, their stuff was very reasonably priced, too. So that is going to be Wednesday's video. Now, we ran a giveaway last week for this yarn. We had a total of 82 entries, and I used random comment picker to pick the winner, and it chose, drum roll please, Keith Lewis Crochet. So Keith has just started a YouTube channel himself. It's called Keith Lewis Crochet. If you want to go over and check it out, I'm sure he'd appreciate that. So congratulations, Keith. Uh, you will be getting this yarn, which is tie-dye from Wool Ease, and I'm also going to include Katrinkle's Progress Keeper that I got in the Knit Crate last month, and it has a little etching on it of a person uh, painting a skein of yarn, and a little tea bag with Bigelow French Vanilla. I don't know if you're a tea drinker or not. I hope so. So anyway, those will be coming your way if you would contact me at my email address, which is katrinascreations at yahoo.com, and let me know your address. I will get these out in the mail to you as soon as I hear from you. Now it's time for... Now in our Come and Get It section this week, uh, there are a couple sales going on that I will let you know about. Uh, the first is Mary Maxim. Uh, these sales, not sure how long they run, but anyway, Mary Maxim is running a sale right now where if you spend $49 or more, you can get a free tote bag. Um, what you have to do to get it is, of course, you know, put $49 worth of items in your cart and then add the tote bag to your cart. The tote bag is called Aqua Vines Tote Bag, and the item number is 30860. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all this. I'll put all the information down in the link down below. And then when you go to check out, you're going to use the coupon code BAG49, and that will, get, that will give you that item uh, for free. So anyway, they're running that. 
Uh, they also are running, if you spend $50, you will get a $5 coupon towards your next purchase. So that's what's going on at Mary Maxim. Again, I will put all the information to the links down below so you don't have to like scribble real quick all the coupon codes. I write them right next to the link that takes you there. So Jimmy Beans, uh, they have more luxurious yarn. Um, if you buy the regular price stuff, then it's more expensive, but you all know me, I'm cheap. I buy the cheap things. So um, yeah, if you click on the sale tab, it takes you to their clearance stuff and that's where the really good sales are. And I just realized I forgot to take my earbud out. Oh well. <laughs> so I wondered what was feeling weird in my ear and just realized, yeah, I left it in. I was listening to a video and forgot to take it out of my ear. Uh, Lion Brand is offering until the 13th 30% off of their yarns and kits. There's no coupon necessary. You just click on the appropriate link and I will put a separate one for the kits and a separate one for the yarn. Um, because when they say yarns, it's not all of their yarns. So don't just go to lionbrand.com and think you're going to get 30% off of whatever you click on. It isn't necessarily all of those yarns. Um, it's select yarns. Uh, but in this case, I think it's pretty much all of them except for their more luxur luxury yarns. Uh, but anyway, I'll put the links down below. So that is Lion Brand. And then Love Crafts. Now this sale ends on Sunday. Uh, they are offering 35% off of 10 balls of select yarn. You do need to use a coupon code 10BallsNA. So that is for Love Crafts. And then they are also offering up to 30% off wool, cotton, and bamboo yarn. Uh, there's no coupon code needed for that. You just click on the link. So I will put the link to both of those sales directly down below so you don't have to go search through their site to find it. Uh, but both of those sales end on Sunday. So that is it for this week. I want to thank everybody for watching and thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I hope you stick around. Even though the giveaway is over, we are only 10, uh, 20 people away from the next giveaway uh, when we hit 3,800 subscribers. So we do, we do have giveaways fairly regularly on the channel here. So to all the new viewers, thank you for clicking that subscribe button and checking my channel out. And those of you who have been with me for a long time, thank you for sticking with me through all this. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye everybody.